When I came to Regeneron, we were launching the Regeneron Genetics Center, um, envisioned as a large-scale genome sequencing effort within a pharma company, and there was very little on-prem compute. And so for the scale of what we were trying to do in terms of genome sequencing and analysis, um, we, we looked around at the options and it, we really needed to have security, we needed to have compliance, we were going to have patient data de-identified, but um, you know there were, there were concerns about security and, and, and making sure that we were protecting the data of the people we were working with. And so um, DNA Nexus was a, a great solution for us. It, it really helped us launch the, the Genome Center at, at Regeneron um, in the time frame that we needed to launch. And actually, um, right after we launched, we scaled up by about 2x, and we were able to just kind of like turn on more compute. Uh, you know, if we had built on-prem hardware, it would have been a, a massive job to, to sort of re-envision and rescale the compute. Regeneron Genetics Center is fundamentally a collaborative institution. We are a academic genome center embedded in a pharma company. And so as we do all of the work that we do for sequencing and for our partners, we are also collaborating internally. So we have uh, various functions within the company as well as functions outside of the company that require us to deploy data to various partners and to enable analyses for various people. For the internal partners, it's a great way of giving people the opportunity to look at the data where it lives, to run analyses themselves. Uh, for external partners, it is absolutely essential because it allows us to securely share data with people who are all around the world. The role of cloud computing in genomics I think is fundamental now. Uh, for us, certainly at the Regeneron Genetics Center, it's absolutely foundational in what we do with genome informatics, but it's, it is absolutely going to grow in the field. There is no way that the level of data analysis and the kinds of data deliveries that need to happen for healthcare, uh, for um, drug development for academic genomics research, for all those things to happen, more and more data has to be generated and it has to be transited between various parties. And, and the only way that that makes any sense is to have people coming to the data instead of the data going to people. Would we engage with DNA Nexus the way that we have again if we had the same opportunity? I think, I think the answer is unequivocally yes. It has been a huge enabler in the things that we do at the Regeneron Genetics Center. It has been an uh, incredibly valuable collaborative scientific relationship with the scientists at DNA Nexus. These are people who uh, I really count as colleagues and friends. They've been incredibly useful in terms of the things that we've tried to achieve scientifically as well as some of my personal goals. So uh, there's an unequivocal yes that, that would, I, would I work with them again.